Hi, this is Chicho. Now, what I mentioned in the introductory video to the series on comic books was um, the re you know one of the reasons that we started this series is because we're going to do an introductory course on economics for math in real life and the language of mathematics. Um, so I figured that uh, one of the best ways to do that is to uh, look at the economics of comics, something that you know, it's been a part of my life. Uh, I've been a collector, publisher. Um, I've gone to trade shows, sold comics and whatnot, right? So we're gonna take a look at the economics of, uh, of collecting comic books, of publishing comic books, if you plan on publishing comic books and uh, investing in comic books, right? And just to show you the, the beauty of comic books and why why I do this and why this is an aspect of my life right and how the mathematics has played into it you know we, we did some readings of comics uh, we put together six videos on reading comic books I showed you um, you know how I frame comic books right and we did a pretty long video on um, uh, just taking a look at some of the books in my collection right and I mentioned that you know I through the years I've been collecting for about 25 years uh, over the years you know I've delved into the realm and I've pulled back you know I've had hiatuses I've gone sabbaticals not buying any comic books so you know for about 25 years it's sort of been a, a wave of getting into the comic book realm and coming out of it and coming back in again and taking a look and seeing what's going on right and as, as to why I love comic books, it's, um, it, you know, it's, it's multifaceted, right? Uh, I love the investing part of it, the collecting part of it. I love reading comic books, right? I love, I love the imagination, the, uh, the lack of inhibition, right? There's, uh, for a lot of comic books, for a lot of creators, there are things you can do in the comic book realm that you cannot do in other media. And um, I've, I've heard it say there's, there's two things that have come across over the last few years that uh, sort of made me go wow regarding comic books is um, one of the reasons that I heard that comic books are such a powerful medium to communicate information uh, was because they're both written text and imagery so they affect both the right and left hemispheres of the brain at the same time. It's one of the few things that does that and um, that was one of the reasons given as to why uh, comic books are so powerful and such a beautiful medium to communicate ideas, to communicate imagination, uh, share imagination, really, right? And uh, uh, one of the re other reasons that uh, I've, I've heard that comic books, uh, or I made the connection why comic books are so powerful in my world anyway, uh, was because uh, I heard that uh, when we watch movies, when we watch shows, we don't, when we remember something, we don't remember motion. I'm not 100% if this is true or not, but it was uh, during a lecture that I watched was that we don't remember motion. We remember still images and we piece together the motion in our minds, right? So as soon as I heard that, uh, you know, I was really immersed in reading comic books. Uh, a few years ago, again, I was going through a phase of collecting a lot and reading a lot. And all of a sudden I connected it to comic books where you're reading, reading a story, reading, reading um, words coming at you, either first person, third person, second person, whatever it is. And you're looking at the imagery and it, it reminded me that, that there have been times in my life where, where I remember a story, either sci-fi or superhero or whatever it is, right? And I have a hard time remembering if it was, um, if it was a movie or a comic book that I've read, right? So that really connected it, that sort of uh, put it in a missing piece. I'm not sure if it's 100% true or not that we don't remember motion, that we remember uh, still images and we put together motion in our minds. But um, it, it was interesting for me and uh, that made me love comic books that much more. And that's uh, basically two of the reasons that I've uh, that I think anyway if you, if you analyze it why comic books I believe are such a powerful medium to communicate information to share imagination right and um, since I'm going through um, sort of a collecting phase right now uh, you know so there's a I do have a list that you know I, I need to fill in gaps and I always keep my eyes on the lookout for certain books that I'm that I want to get into certain stories that I want to read and um, the different 
ways that I end up buying comic books. There's, there's a few different ways that I do it. I do have a box at a comic shop, at a local comic shop, uh, a pull list, right, where I get comics, uh, you know, every week sometimes. Sometimes, you know, I, there's nothing coming in during that week for the comics I have on, on my list, so I don't get any new comic books to read. So I, I do actively buy comics from a local comic shop. I go to comic book shows. I've gone as a... Um, um, as, a, as someone who displays comic books, who sells comic books, uh, and as a buyer a lot. So uh, they both have their plus and minuses. As someone who sets up a table and, um, and sells comic books, you have the opportunity where people come up to you, collectors that are, you know, they, they want to sell their comic books. So you have an opportunity to buy some comics at shows, as well as uh, trade with other uh, um, other people who are there, who have a table set up, right? So you you get a really good chance to trade with other collectors and, and buyers, right? And uh, one of the other ways I, I buy a lot of comic books uh, is I buy them offline, um, online, and I buy them from eBay. And I've been doing this off and on for the last, uh, well, since 2002, both selling and buying. And sometimes I go on a spree, and if I find a, a buyer that I like, if I find a buyer that I like their collection and I like, you know, like or love their prices, I end up buying a fair bit of comic books from them. Nice. And I usually um, only buy from sellers that have a high ranking, right? They have to basically have a 100% uh, clean slate. That means everybody that's bought from them or, uh, uh, or everybody that they sold to or uh, they bought from, uh, you know, has been happy with the transaction, right? So if I find a buyer like that with this collection that I like, um, that I want to get, and with, you know, really good prices, I ended up uh, spending a lot of time on their, on their page and buying a fair bit of comics. You know, I buy some new stuff, I fill in some, uh, some missing, you know, fill in some missing spots that I have, and sometimes I buy things that I wanted to buy or I load up on a certain certain comics as as a collector right as someone who's investing in comic books and that's exactly what i did uh, with this one seller um, that i find found online a few weeks ago and i ended up buying a whole bunch of comic books off this person a couple of short boxes actually and they arrived a couple of days ago and um, i started going through uh, you know, they came in separate days. So when the first box arrived, I cracked it open and uh, looked at a couple of. He's he's beautifully packaged. I looked at a, looked at a couple of uh, a couple of lots that I bought, and I sort of went, you know what? Uh, I think you guys would uh, really like uh, like to take a look at this. And I'm just going to go through the books and share these books with you guys. And um, just to let you know, I put together. Um, little uh, spreadsheet just some preliminary numbers some of the stuff that we might look at um, for uh, math in real life and the language of mathematics i sort of put a, a spreadsheet together in excel and just looked at the numbers i just wanted to get an estimate of you know how many comics i bought or get an exact value of how many comics i bought and what i paid for them and uh, as far as uh, collecting or investing comic books goes when I buy lots like this, I look for for certain uh, certain books. I lo look to see what I paid per unit, right, per comic. And um, for these two short boxes, I ended up uh, it ends up being 275 comics, and uh, it includes comics that I've wanted to collect. It includes comics that I'm basically just buying as investment. And I might take a read through them because I love reading comic books. And it includes a batch of comics that I really wanted to start reading. Um, so it was a nice mix of all three. Uh, all three. Uh, so it came out to 275 comics, two short boxes, all of them bagged and boarded. And I basically ended up paying um, for different things. Uh, for the investment ones, I ended up paying, um, they cost me, uh, you know, about, a, you know, less than $2 per unit. Uh, including shipping. The shipping was pretty expensive, so the shipping kicked it up about 20 to 30 cents uh, per unit, which is pretty heavy, right? Um, and for the comics that I wanted to read, which was included a uh, pretty big lot of, uh, of Valiant comics, uh, the new, um, 
the, the restart of Valiant Comics that happened, I think, uh, three years ago or something. And during that time, three years ago, I wasn't buying any comic books. I was going through a lull period. So I didn't get a chance to uh, pick up these books. And the, I've been a huge Valiant fan from get-go from the 1990s. So I was really excited to find out that you know there was a relaunch and there was a whole bunch of books out there. Um, and I hadn't had the opportunity to go back and read a lot of the back issues. So I was able to pick up a couple of lots where it starts off with the number ones or number zeros, I guess. And, uh, you know, it's a few, it's, it's a nice little run. So I'm going to do uh, some readings of those, right? So all in all, 275 books we're going to take a look at right now. And uh, they cost um, about, you know, a little bit less than two bucks per unit including shipping which is for me it was a great deal right and the way um, these things were listed on ebay was um, there were buy it now option with make me an offer um, option put in there as well so i basically went through and uh, uh, just to make you know let this guy know that i was serious about buying these books i didn't make an offer one at a time i you know took a look at his collection and took a look at exactly what i wanted to buy and um, went through and sent in the offers one after another and he ended up basically accepting all of my offers except one and he made a counter offer but he did end up accepting all the offers and it was a huge chunk of money for me uh so i didn't i didn't accept this counter offer right um and you know you can't get everything that you want i actually ended up getting more than what i thought i was going to get so you know i've hit my budget for the next few weeks right with this collection or next few months with this collection um which i'm really happy with and uh, what I'm going to do right now is go through the collection and I do need to go through the collection and uh, so that I can leave a, you know, feedback for this person. And I took a quick look, uh, you know, cracked open the first box when it arrived and I took a really quick look at it. And uh, it looks like a beautiful, uh, beautiful bunch of comics, exactly as the person described. And uh, I sort of realized that um, maybe it'd be nice to uh, uh, share this, uh, share this with you. So what we're going to do right now is go through both these boxes and uh, take a look at them. And we're not going to look at uh, look at every 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 one individually. We're not going to open them up. Uh, but uh, what I am going to do is um, crack open just a handful at random, just to make sure it's as they were described. And you know, if five or ten out of 275 are as the books were described in the auction, that you know, the odds are the rest of them are perfect as well. So after that, we can, you know, go back and leave a positive comment for this guy because I'm pretty sure he's, you know, you know, if you're selling on eBay, you, you do wait to get a positive feedback because it's important to get positive feedbacks, right? Uh, so what we're going to do right now is go through um, these two boxes. Okay.